Let's talk to Ricardo from Active Trades. Very good morning to you, Ricardo. Good morning. Um, let's talk to some currencies. Let's talk about, well, we've got to kick off with the Brexit pound. Um, at the time of going to uh, sort of around 128, uh, you know, seller for choice. We've talked about these big key levels. I've had lots of people coming on and saying, I'm buying the pounds because it, it's going to be a favourable outcome. I think if we ignore the fundamentals today, because we'd be talking for hours, the pound is looking shabby, isn't it? Lots of volatility um, f since uh, since yesterday, uh, round about the time of uh, Prime Minister's May uh, press conference after after the cabinet meeting, we saw that the pound gained substantially, uh, climbed up against uh, other major currencies, um, uh, reached above uh, one one thirty comfortably above one thirty. Uh, everything seemed to be going okay, and then reports started. Um, emerging about uh, some discontent. Uh, there were reports of tears, some ministers were in tears during that cabinet meeting. So not all is well. Uh, there's been an agreement that's been sort of a, a majority agreement, not a consensual agreement. Um, I confess that I'm not entirely familiar with the terms of, the, of this draft uh, agreement for, for, the, for the exit from the EU. Uh, I don't think many people are at this stage. Yep. Uh, it's a 500-page document. Yep. But the general consensus at the moment appears to be that uh, it will be some sort of a, of a fudge, it's been said before, where uh, the Brexit will be nominal mainly, but in many, in many aspects Britain will remain as it is, a uh, part of the European Union, namely um, in goods, in the circulation of goods, free set circulation of goods. Uh, so this doesn't seem to make anybody happy, yep. the Brexit hardliners, the, the Remainers. Um, there's a, a group which, which probably is the largest, which is the group of the realists. So the more realistic uh, view is that uh, this is not ideal, but it's probably the best that, can, that we can get at the moment. Uh, let's stick to it, because the alternative will be either a hard Brexit or no Brexit at all, there probably will be uh, general elections uh, because there will be a vote of no confidence or the possibility of a vote of no confidence on Prime Minister Theresa May as a way to derail in this process. Uh, and if that happens, um, elections become more likely. There's a possibility of Jeremy Corbyn coming into power, which is quite a scary th uh, pro uh, prospect for many of the people involved in this decision making. Yep. So, uh, so, so we will see, we will see, but this morning, as you said quite rightly, Nick, uh, the pound suffered uh, some important losses, uh, is now sitting just above 128, and um, I, I would be worried, I would be worried about the prospects for the pound, because uh, I don't think we heard, we heard everything yet about this. Dominic Rabb, the Brexit secretary, uh, resigned this morning, there may be other resignations and that scenario of uh, a vote of no confidence on Prime Minister Theresa May may still emerge and become a reality uh, and then and then it will be touch and go who knows what's going to happen one thing we know for sure if that happens the pound will suffer okay let's talk about a currency that looks quite healthy at the moment the US dollar what are your thoughts well interesting speech yesterday by the Fed's chairman uh, Jerome Powell uh, quite positive so still maintaining the, the outlook of another interest rate rise in December, uh, possibly up to three next year. However, there was a note of caution there, and, and he said that there may be some headwinds ahead for the American economy. So that seemed to have cooled uh, the enthusiasm of dollar bulls, and uh, although the dollar uh, recorded some gains in the immediate aftermath it is sort of quite stable at the moment and uh, and didn't move as much as one as one would expect um, in such a situation oh. so outlook for the dollar at the moment wait and see understood euro dollar we've gone through some key chart levels um, in recent days what are you thinking of these levels uh, well I mean I think the the main we can look at the technicals uh, we can look at the fundamentals, but I think the main driver for euro dollar at the moment remains uh, politics, uh, especially the situation in Italy, yep. but also the, the growth in influence by um, populist 
far right, mainly nationalistic uh, movements all over Europe, especially in Germany, which is quite worrying because Germany is one of the main, together with France, they probably hold the whole thing together. But at the moment, the main concern for the euro is Italy. Uh, the situation is still unresolved. Um, the Italian government insists on a budget with a deficit of around 2.3% for 2019, which is well above the, the, the maximum parameter set by the EU. Um, I don't think either of the parts will back down. Uh, probably what's going to happen is that at a certain point the EU will start proceedings to, to take action against Italy, probably find them. But we all know that the EU is a big bureaucratic machine. It will take months for anything to happen. In the meantime, we'll have the European election in April and the Italian government is banking on that. Uh, of course, politically it's easy to make sense of this. However, the impact it's having on the currency uh, is visible and I think there's further downside risk ahead for the euro. Understood. Let's wrap up with, as I always ask you, your favourite pair or, or yes. your favourite pair that you really dislike. Anything that <laughs> caught your attention this week? Um, yes, so uh, I would say the, the dollar rand, the dollar South African rand, uh, is an interesting one to follow. A big spike for the rand yesterday, very strong gains. This came on the back of, some, or of a judicial decision regarding land ownership rights, uh, which benefited, uh, seems to have benefited the, the outlook for the South African uh, economy uh, and, uh, and therefore the rent uh, benefited as well. So I would keep an eye on the rent and there may be a good opportunity there. On that note, Ricardo, thank you very much and if you time. Thank you, Nick.